Four people are recovering after a shooting near Casey Lake Park in North St. Paul. It's a situation neighbors say they're unfortunately getting used to. Our Renee Cooper spoke with people living in the area who say this isn't the first time they've been worried after hearing gunshots in the neighborhood. Renee? Yeah, Brett, this was a busy scene here last night at Casey Lake Park. The North St. Paul police chief says roughly 60 people were gathered here. He says uh, at the time when shots rang out, he says the surveillance video shows the group gathering and dancing and then everyone scatters. I was working on schoolwork and I just heard like a couple pops and I thought they were fireworks. You know, the bang, 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 pop, pop. And then I heard like rapid fire and I was like, yeah, that's not fireworks. Neighbors recalling the fear inducing realization of nearby gunfire. For Kiana Andreessen, Casey Lake Park is visible from her home. She says she took cover out of eye shot, but her husband was outside. So he could really kind of see what was going on? Yeah, so he actually said that he heard a bullet like whizzing by. So I don't know how close or how far it would have to be for that. Right here? Yeah, like right right where the, that truck in the neighbor's yard is. And then it kind of just stopped. And then I went and looked out the front windows and I saw probably four cars, like lights off, just flying down 17th towards White Bear Avenue. Police Chief Raymond Rosales says investigators believe at least three shooters were involved and it's not random. But he says it's unclear how the shooters knew any of the roughly 60 people gathered or where the shots were first fired from. Chief Rosales says four people were hurt and taken to the hospital. A 17-year-old, a 21-year-old man, and two 24-year-old women. One of the women has since been released. He says the other three are still being treated and their injuries are likely non-life threatening. Unfortunately, it's not too shocking anymore, but yeah, it makes you want to make sure that you're Family and everybody is locked inside, animals, neighbors, you know, family that lives around in the area. It's just a little unsettling. Now, police have said they don't believe there's any ongoing threat to the public here, but they are asking that if you know anything about what may have happened here last night, call investigators. We've got that contact information for you over on our website, kstp.com. And I wanted to add the police chief also confirmed to us that there was a graduation celebration also going on here at the park when shots were fired. He says that was a separate gathering and not related. Live in North St. Paul, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.